we're heading uh, up here uh, to show you exactly where I killed Bigfoot. Rick Dyer drives me up a rocky path littered with debris from a homeless campsite, which is where he claims he shot and killed Bigfoot in September of 2012. I took another shot and then he immediately stopped and then I fired the third shot that killed him. They shot it three times. Bryce Hernandez knows the story by heart and is one of many spectators who believes this is in fact a Sasquatch. That's real Bigfoot. He's right in there. I don't have any doubt in my mind that all this is real. It looks believable to me, but you never know. Is it real or is it not? It is a great thing to sit and watch. P.T. Barnum had an excellent idea. Barnum also helped coin the phrase, there's a sucker born every minute. Dyer also admits being behind a 2008 Bigfoot hoax, which caused Snopes.com to rate his current claim as false. So we decided to make a fake one out of a $400 costume, and my reputation has taken a hit ever since. So this is more about redemption. Which is why Rick claims a university autopsied the Bigfoot, but won't say which one due to a non-disclosure agreement. They don't want their names out there until they cross their T's and dot their I's. Why not wait until that happens? Well, now it's basically a sideshow. I like the mystery and to see it in people's eyes. And even if what those people are seeing is fake, they say the chance to believe is worth the price of admission. It wouldn't upset me, but if, if it is a hoax, they did a really good job. It would be one of those, well, I got to see it, <laughs> whether it was true or not. <laughs> I saw the hoax or I saw the real thing. If you'd like an up-close view of Rick's traveling sideshow, he'll be presenting the Bigfoot body and a film about the shooting at the Alamo Draft House Park North tomorrow night at 7 tickets are 20 bucks. If you've got a big hairy story idea for Streets Corner, you can follow me on Twitter at Streets Corner or like us at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.